Hi, I'm Marty Nowicki. I'm talking today about lag putting and distance control. A couple things that I'm always looking for when I watch a putting stroke. First is how well is your putter swinging like a pendulum, all right? If I see it go back 20 inches, it should cross that line and go past the ball 20 inches or maybe even less. A few qualities that I like about a pendulum and why we look for a pendulum-like stroke, we know that a pendulum is going to accelerate the most starting right here. It's going from zero miles an hour and that's when it's picking up most of its speed. We also know that at the very bottom of its arc, it is at top speed. It's no longer accelerating or decelerating for that matter. Contrary to what you might have heard on a, a telecast where someone would say, look at how so-and-so accelerated through the ball, we know that that's really not happening. All right, good putters have the putter uh, really on cruise control while it's going toward the ball. In order to swing the putter like a pendulum, we really need a solid base. So what I like having people do is touch the tops of their kneecaps, maybe take their tailbone back a little bit and then get nice and tall and sturdy. The ball of foot, kneecap, top of spine or ball of foot, kneecap, back of armpit lined up properly and then from a width standpoint basically I'm looking to try and get my ankles just about under my hips or maybe even slightly wider. I'm trying to just get this one close. I've got about a 55-60 footer. It's a big breaking putt. If you ever wanted to make a putt you need three things to come together. I need speed first. Speed is the most important thing. Second I need read. I've got to know, I've got to be able to identify how much ball is going to curve. And then the last thing I need to do is I need to both aim the putter and start the ball on the line that I'm trying to start it on. So in this case, I'm just looking to two putt and get out of here. So I've lined my ball up. I've now matched my body, gotten my posture, aiming the putter. And if I can match all three things, end up with a pretty good putt. That putt, if the camera didn't pick it up, just broke about 18 feet. I've got a nice little tap in left for my uh, par and I'm off to the next hole. So speed control first, read second, and then can you start the ball on your intended line? And when you marry all three of those variables together, good stuff happens.